And not only false, I would say this is the most dangerous one to say on the street while you are walking in any street in Poland. Hey you guys, today we would like to talk about some stereotypes that uh, people have about Poland. Yes. We look for them on the internet, some of them we know them. It's going to look like this. Maria is going to tell the misconceptions about her country and her people. And me, as a person that lives here for over seven years, I'm going to say if they are true or false. So the first one is that Poland is Russia. Nope. Yes, I found this in a lot of places and let me tell that it's not true. This one is false. And not only false, I would say this is the most dangerous one to say on the street while you are walking in any street in Poland. They don't like to be compared with Russians. They have they don't have bad relationship with Russia, but they're not Russians and they don't like to be compared with Russia. Yeah, just like uh, Portuguese don't like to be compared to Spain. Because and... we are better. So people are like, oh, Lucid, you are from Portugal? Yes. Oh, good. Gracias. You know how many times I yes. listen to this? So <laughs> They're like, gracias. It's like, huh, good. So it's completely false. That's dangerous one to say it on the street. Okay. There's a tiny bit that touches the border. No one knows where this piece and the no, historically. Yeah, we like to think about Poland that it's Central Europe. Yes. The rest is Russia after Poland. That's how you like to think. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yes. Okay. Number two. Polish people only drink vodka. That's also false. They also drink beer and wine. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, but on every party there is vodka. Yes, vodka is like your celebration drink. Weddings, the, f the, the first drink, like when you enter uh, your reception, you uh, drink champagne yes. for toast. But uh, oh, <laughs> after, it's mostly vodka. Yeah, but to use this frappe, that in Portugal we used to keep the wine cold, white wine, you used to have cold vodka on the tables. And each table has one or two bottles. Yes. So they use it to celebrate. No, but they, they just refill it. They yes. Refill it they use vodka to celebrate, but they don't drink it on the daily basis. No. It's mostly parties, I would say. Yes, it's like your celebration drink. Yes. And their choice of vodkas is, for me at least, it's, it's, it's humongous. In, vodka in was a communism. Coin. Vodka was like yeah. a coin to get favors and things during the communist time in Poland. Okay, if you go to Poland, prepare for Arctic temperatures. That is true, at least for me, that I come from <laughs> Portugal. So, And the funny thing is that Drusidio came to Poland in March, which is basically more or less beginning of spring in Poland. Uh, so during the night it's around zero, like between minus five and to five degrees. During the day, wait, it wait, should be between wait. 5 to 15. Yes. But the year he came, it was snowing until Almost May. Almost May. Almost the, May. The weather that year was really crazy. Yes, but we already got... We had a car, well, all our cars were diesel, but we had a car that during night the diesel frozen and we had to tow our car back home because mm. it didn't even start it. So it was minus 26 or mm, something like that. close to minus 30, which I don't know how much is in Fahrenheit, but it will appear somewhere. And it's really cold sometimes, but it's also warm in the summer. So I, I would say not that they have Arctic, they have more sharp seasons. When it's summer, it's really summer. When it's winter, it's really winter. Spring and fall, I would say that the weather is really unpredi unpredictable. Yeah. Yes. That you have to prepare for cold and you have to prepare for warm. And if you come during summer, you have to prepare for storms. It's weird, but it's true yeah. that during summer, you ha can have the most beautiful day and then it starts to rain and thunderstorm for 10 minutes. Like crazy, but it can happen. And then it passes and the smell and the colors are or amazing. like amazing. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, I have to admit, that's very pleasant mm -hmm. atmosphere after. Polish is impossible language to master. And it's true! Well, it's, it's not 100% true. It is very hard language to... Everything in Polish is irregular. And it's everything is an exception. And 
every single word has seven different ways of saying it uh, or, more. or more okay the number two for example uh, like this is extreme I know but uh, number two has like 20 something forms in Polish yes yes even even it is hard to swear in Polish because there's so many ways of swearing so many things that you can put before the swear that completely changes it yeah kind of like you can you know bend it in almost any way you want yes it's but true. we are like polish is not really good with new terminology like computers no the same with portuguese we just sometimes we just use the english word yeah for, for that, that's things. exactly the I, same in poland i speak a bit of polish i can communicate with the neighbors and every like basically all my life i can do it in polish besides the fact of writing but I know that I make mistakes because I never studied. So I think you can get very close to yes. speaking well, but it's hard and it requires a lot of work, much more than, than any normal language. Exactly, <laughs> much more than any normal language because Polish is not normal. But it's beautiful. Okay, next one. Polish people are cold and what? And unfriendly. It's true. <laughs> well, it is true it as is true. it is true as for me coming from a Portuguese culture. When you walk walk on the street in Portugal, people smile. Here, they can go to the dreamland, and they look like they are going to a funeral. They never express like they don't have a smile on their faces when they are walking. They are just like, I go somewhere, and they are not happy about it, but they go somewhere. So this happens a lot. And after you are friends with them, they become very, they become open and friendly. But the first initial basis that you touch with people, it might not be the friendliest or the most welcoming compared mm -hmm. to Portugal. Uh, that's what I can compare. Yes. I heard that there are countries in the north that are even colder. People are even colder than in Poland. And also there's another thing that's about complaining not true two things you can never do in poland one <laughs> is to ask people how they're doing how are you hey how are you huh because we do this in portugal and we like we don't care about that person we just say hey how are you good and you good yeah that's exactly that i think you can you can uh, copy the idea from uh, usa of this mm. question to portugal there yes. is like I don't really want to know uh, how are you and what's going on in your life. It's like extended hello. Yes. But in and in Poland we don't ask how are you. Because when you ask you are just opening Pandora box and people will start to complain. And the second thing is that you cannot complain in Poland because everyone else has worse than you. It's a competition. It happened to me that once I woke up and I said we were with family and I said my head hurts and immediately uh, I lost because someone said yes my head hurts and I also have pain in my back so I lost you cannot express any kind of negative feeling because you have very good in your life and all the rest have worst in general Poland is a great country um, and you know there are these, these stereotypes some of people have them but does not make it an unpleasant place to be or to live like any other country we'll do the same about Portugal Portuguese people when they say I'll do it later it means I'll never do it so, you know, we also have our flaws. We are not perfect. Close to, but not perfect. That's recorded. Huh? That's recorded. What? That you are not perfect as Portuguese. Because Lucidio likes to, you know, brag about how Portugal awesome is. I'm not saying that Poland sucks. Portugal is better. Okay, so why you live here for the past seven years? Eight because years? of you. Mm. You could, you know, take me there, but... <laughs> it's you never it. did. You never did. Because Poland is better to live. <laughs> So yeah, I hope this doesn't discourage you to come and visit Poland, beautiful country. When the borders will be open, you can enjoy this country, enjoy the nature. They have beautiful mountains, beautiful forests and wild animals. It's really... And Mazur lakes also. And yes. Seaside. I have to admit that Poland is pretty and there is a lot to do. Yes, yes. To visit. So think about that next time you are planning your vacation and see you on the next video. Hello you guys, today um
Open. Oh, and beautiful woman. And beautiful woman. That's true. It's actually nice weather. Done. That's it? Yes. Good. It's a wrap.